Tom Simon from Tyson Rowers. Just want to talk to you a little bit and show you the Echo All Road Lawnmower. This is a steel deck model. It comes in two sizes: 20 inch, 53 centimeter; 18 inch, 48 centimeter as well. Both machines are very much alike, but there's a few subtle differences between the two. You can have three different engines on the range. There's a one model with a Honda engine on, which only comes in the 53 centimetre, and that has the 5.5 horsepower Honda GCB 160 on it. The other ones, they do a range of Emacs own engines, and also Briggs and Stratton, which you can have on the 48 and the 53 centimetre. So let's have a look and see what's different. You can see straight away, if you look at the front of both machines on these two 53 centimetre, the one with the Honda engine, the Briggs engine, comes with this plastic bolt protector and also it's got the extra handle on the front for lifting, whereas you haven't got that on the on the EMAC engine model. The only other difference, which I'll show you in a minute, is that with the EMAC engine model, you don't get the most plug, in, plug included with it. They've both got the options for side exit. So you've got the set extra side exit chute with a flap on the side here, which you can just flip up. It clips onto there nice and easy, and that then allows you, if you've got long grass, just to throw it out the side and let it escape without clogging up the lawnmower, which is good if you've got a lot of verges or you've got paddocks, things like that. And it just takes off nice and easy and completes and up again for storage. Both machines, single lever height of cup, which does everything in one go. You've got Five different positions, a height range from 28mm to 75 Nice and easily balanced with a spring just to take some of the weight, so it's just straight up and down. Located in a solid steel plate on the side so it's not scratching the deck as it's moving. 70 litre grass boxes on both the machines. Little indicator on the top which blows up when the grass is going into the bag. As soon as it's fully drops down, let you know it's time to empty it. Solid top, net sides, and a nice solid bottom. So it's not going to wear out. If we take the gas box off, and just pop that to the side for a minute, what I'm going to do is just spin the machine around so you can have a look underneath. They're both the same underneath. Nice high lift blade, but it's also got the extra cutting edge, which gives you that mulching when you've got the mulch plug in. The mulch plug is in at the moment, which Basically, it turns the deck into one complete deck, so it recycles the grass, chops it up nice and finely, pulls it back into the ground. If I just pop that back down, lift this up, you can see there's the mulch plug. Straight forward, just pulls out. That's a nice big exit for throwing it in the grass box when you want to collect, or pop it in like that, you blot it up, away you go mulching. If I leave you that way around for now as well, you've got two levers on this model. The front one's engine cut out. Should anything happen, you just let go, the engine stops. And the back one is a drive which puts the drive through the rear wheels. You can push them as well when you get into those awkward areas where you don't need the drive. Nice strong angles, good diameter, nice and fit, and these fit nice and comfortable to hold in the machine. I'll just turn that around again. So you can see, very good looking machine for a long man. Nice and strong, all ball bearings on each wheels, no nylon bushes. You can adjust the handles, we've got a couple of little different positions so you can alter the behind for your personal preference, make it nice and comfortable. Big wheels on the back which aids it turning around. Two year warranty on these machines, very reliable. Thank you very much.